Welcome back. Well, it's Kids Week here on Good Morning Idaho. Dr. K in this morning from Dr. K's Pet Clinic in Nampa. So we're talking this morning about what types of pets would be best for your kids. So Dr. K, there's the obvious dogs and cats. What else is out there? Well, there's lots of things. I think the first thing you do is you need to take a look at your situation, okay. your family, um, what you want in a pet, how much time you can allot to your pet, <laughs> and you know the physical area you know that you have. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of things. Dogs is probably the most obvious thing. Sure. You know, and they're they're good because they're friendly. Uh, they'll love you no matter what. If you train <laughs> them, they're pretty obedient. Okay. You know, and uh, they're more of a traditional type pet. But there's other things that uh, lots of people have, like pet rabbits. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. You, know, they're, you can pet them. You know, uh, if you can get them really trained, it's not something I probably would want personally hopping around in the house. Sure. But they can <laughs> be trained that way. And they, they don't make noise. You don't have to that, work with them barking or whining. Very good point. You know, and you can keep them confined in the cage and they're relatively con content that way. Um, some people have fish, which is. Yeah, it's. This is odd. It, they like them because, the, you know, they. They would get to work with the aquariums, you know, and that that's helpful. They're they're pretty, um, they're relatively inexpensive. I was gonna say they're very affordable. I right, used to, I used you to know, have fish because it's like <laughs> only uh, two type of fish I know: <laughs> live fish and dead ones. <laughs> <laughs> and so we rarely get a chance to work on them. Yeah, because exactly. People yeah. don't even know they're sick until it's you know it's too late. Okay. You know, and so that's a good one. Uh, some people have mice and rats. But okay. oh, I don't know. You know, they're they're fine. I think they're small. Um, they don't take a lot of care, but they do kind of have a bad order to them. So okay. they're not one of my personal favorites. Right, well on, the, on the sort of on the same subject, you got hamsters and guinea pigs. Those are a little better, right? Right. They're a little bit bigger. Um, guinea pigs are you know bigger. They can actually mm -hmm. hold them, and they and they don't require a lot of care either. They're relatively healthy. Okay. Uh, they're lifespan isn't very long, which is five years, but by that time your kid's probably tired in many ways. Time to go on to another bigger pet like a dog or cat. Okay, and let's talk about cats a little bit. Cats require a little more attention. They, they try a little bit harder, it looks like, for, for your care and, and your love. So is it recommended for a kid or no? Well, I think they are, but the younger ones maybe not, unless okay. maybe if they're declawed, because they do tend to scratch sure. uh, your furniture and that sort of thing, but they can be declawed, and there's some goods and bads about that, but that's pretty good but a good thing about a cat is if you're gone for the weekend mm -hmm. say you can lots of people just put down a lot of water mm -hmm. and and food and you're, they're okay sure they're not like a dog that's got to be let out somebody's got to come and watch your dog uh, if they sit at the place which is the best place to keep them okay. uh, versus a boarding kennel okay so by far we're talking fish being the least expensive by far right, right. And dogs cats kind of on the other end of that spectrum right. what about birds Birds aren't bad either. I, I've had some birds, uh, some canaries, and they, I like the canaries because they have a song and they're, okay, yeah. they're they active. They sound pleasant. Right, <laughs> they fly around, but they do have a lot of droppings. So I learned that way. You kind of have okay. to have room for them because they, right. they're kind of dirty in some respects, but they're nice because they, if you get one, that's a songbird. Okay. Thank you, Dr. K.